people censor themselves on social media. We all do it. We put a picture that we think looks better of us than another picture. Or we, um, we put up something that makes our lives look really amazing when maybe it's not as spectacular as, as that image. Or, um, or even something the opposite. People might be posting things that are really dark uh, or negative when it, you know, their life might not necessarily reflect that. So I do feel like with social media, people censor. And then you can miss things when they censor. So that, that article or that study I was talking about earlier where people um, could do evaluations through computers and see who might be at risk for alcohol, we actually found that people um, who were at risk for alcohol, there was a lower incidence of people that might be at risk for drugs or tobacco use. And what it might turn out to be is that people are just censoring themselves. They don't want to put them uh, something on Instagram or Facebook about them using drugs, whereas it's more acceptable for alcohol. Well, I think smartphones are one ubiquitous, so almost everybody has one now. I think the numbers are 80, 90 percent of the Americans uh, have a smartphone. That includes even adolescents and adults. And then people over 65 um, actually have smartphones too, so it kind of crosses generations. So that, that fact alone, just having it everywhere, that high accessibility, um, lends itself for, for medical and healthcare to use a smartphone. So you can use smartphones to measure uh, how much um, stress you have in your life. You can use smartphones to learn about diabetes, uh, to measure how, uh, how your breath rate is, looking for someone who might be at risk for overdose if they're breathing enough or if they're breathing slow. So there's just a variety of things that smartphone apps are being used for now. So if we get better, and we, we being like the medical community and research, if we get better at making those apps smarter and evidence-based, I think it could transform how we see healthcare, almost like um, a, a Star Trek kind of thing. In Star Trek, they had all those devices that you could scan somebody quickly and find out all these different things about their physical health, and I think that's we're advancing towards that. We're not quite there yet, and technology has kind of leapfrogged over the science piece but I think as, lo as long as we continue to be really uh, diligent about searching for new research, doing good studies, it, it will catch up.